The American Red Cross says the spike of COVID-19 cases has led to an emergency plasma shortage. Experts say if you have had the coronavirus, you may be able to save those who are being treated. If you have tested positive and recovered from COVID-19, medical professionals believe you will have COVID-19 antibodies. Uh, it's been proven the FDA is working on at helping collect that convalescent plasma and then that is able to help those that are currently battling uh, the coronavirus or COVID-19. Ben Williamson, Director of Communications for American Red Cross of South Carolina, says the demand for convalescent plasma in hospitals has doubled in the last month. Right now, uh, we can get we can meet the hospital's request in about 36 to 48 hours. Um, obviously, we'd love to cut down on that. And the only way we do that is, again, meeting the need locally here, getting donors that are willing to do that um, and to donate that convalescent plasma. Donors will be screened before donating and temperatures will be taken to follow CDC guidelines. All of our staff and our volunteers will be wearing masks. They're required to wear masks. And as a donor, you are required to wear a mask if you are going to give blood or to donate convalescent plasma. Uh, so we encourage you to bring a mask. If you don't have a mask, we'll be able to provide a mask for you. One donation can help up to three people. Up to July 20th, we have collected donations from about 10,000 people and have been able to distribute about 20,000 units of convalescent plasma. All donations for convalescent plasma have to be made by appointment. You can go to countonto.com to find out how you can be approved as a donor and where donation sites are located. Reporting in Charleston, Danielle Hensley, Count On Two.